All right, guys, here we are at North American Motor Officer Association Conference, Namoa, Hillsboro, Oregon. I am at the Harley Davidson booth here. A bunch of courses over there and vendors and whatnot. But uh, last year, if you haven't seen that video, I tested the uh, Rogue Glide, the police version of the Rogue Glide. This year, they've got the live wire. And uh, I have ridden the live wire before in Milwaukee at the 120th. It was really fun, the S2 Del Mar and the live wire one. Here it is, uh, not set up uh, for police at all. It can be equipped, obviously. Uh, agencies are equipping them with their own stuff. It doesn't come out of the factory police ready, but you know, for small departments, uh, city departments, maybe campus police, things like that. Anyways, it's here. And I thought, what better time than to grab the live wire and uh, throw a leg over it and we will take it out on the course and kind of see you know what this thing's all about i got to ride it on the road and all that but i haven't actually taken it through the police course so uh yeah let's uh, fire this thing up if you can actually fire an electric bike up hey there's uh matt all right we should have some power press start and it's so weird my feet are back it's like not even mid controls uh, it's just always weird getting on these things I'm just gonna take it for a spin here a little bit warm up a little bit before I uh, head out on the actual courses that these motor officers are training at here including myself on my uh, 23 Hardy Davidson police electric glide oh yeah the torque on an electric is so amazing. All right, so I'm just uh, warming up a little bit on the practice course here, just messing around. But uh, definitely, obviously, completely different. No clutch over here. So uh, brake balance, clutch, throttle, head and eyes on a, you know, gas-powered Harley. But uh, on this thing, you got no clutch. So you're missing that part of the equation. So it's a lot more uh, we're just doing a circle pattern here kind of a keyhole it's going to be all throttle and brake uh, a lot more just focusing on throttle control which these are really snappy but i'm feeling until you really give it some it uh it's kind of uh easier i should say at low throttle to kind of I don't know necessarily that it mimics a clutch but I'm in a full bar lock here head and eyes all that everything still applies but again a rear brake I'm working that and uh, trying to work mostly just throttle see what we can do here this is a wide enough pattern I can just use throttle without any rear brake so just takes a little getting used to here but when we get on the course we'll uh i'm about ready that's enough warm-up we'll kind of see how it is on the actual you know this is just a warm-up course we'll see how it is on the technical more tight patterns but definitely feeling this throttle out okay here we are on the live wire one uh course two hillsboro oregon namoa 2024 i'm gonna see uh how this thing handles on the course here. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, so different than running a bike with a clutch, but I'm getting it worked out here. Bunch of figure eights here. Just working this uh, throttle. By the end of this course, I'll have it figured out pretty good. But it's yeah, fun factor. Just so different. I've been riding this course for days on my 23 uh, Harley Electric Glide. So <laughs> getting out on this thing is it making me smile. I'm not gonna lie to you. Electrics are just. Uh, for the fun factor, I guess. Definitely for the kind of environment I work in right now, a city environment, you know, my electric light definitely 
is going to be the go-to bike, but hey, I'm down here and electric was available, so figured why not give it a shot. Definitely a little jumpy here. The power, you really got to watch the torque. If you get the throttle a little bit too much and try to go too fast here. But all the techniques, you know, brake, balance, throttle, uh, head and eyes, you know, how I'm leaning on the bike, it all translates right over to electric too. I mean, it's still a motorcycle, obviously. I'm definitely, just as I'm going here, getting a lot more comfortable. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like I can lean a lot more just doing these drills here. Really dip it over. This is hard on a Harley. This is hard on a Harley here, but uh, it's plenty of room on the live where it just turns so sharp. Plenty of room there. The turning radius on this obviously is just amazing. Other than it's electric, it's making these patterns a lot easier to, to do here. If I don't get on the throttle too much. There we go. Definitely if I take a second run here, I'm feeling like I could definitely pick up my pace, but just the first run. fun I mean electrics the fun factor yeah. you know uh, obviously for what we do you know it's not no, well space and computers you know right. but the fun factor for like campus police yeah. you know a campus police or something like that, I think it'd be really cool I know that's where some they're using some of these like different colleges and campus okay. police yeah yeah I didn't know anybody picked them up but yeah yeah it's fun all right, so I'm gonna take a second run on the live wire here for you guys, and I'll try to pick it up just a little bit. You'll notice it's got different modes. We are in sport mode, which is the peppiest, uh, which would be perfect for, uh, you know, doing course work and things like that. Here we go, second run, course two. And you know, interesting thing is, I am definitely getting more comfortable with it. I'm more uh, better uh, going into bar lock on my thousand pound Electra just because I'm so used to it. I'm still going into bar lock on this, um, but I'm definitely a little more hesitant. <clears throat> Here's where you can pick up some speed here. Use some front brake there. You can definitely get heavy on the rear brake, so you got to be careful of that, but... And try to work the throttle a little more. I'm definitely getting smoother, but I'm definitely feeling the transitions more. Definitely getting through these big cones is easier. Oh yeah, bar lock to bar lock there. If I get back to the fundamentals of what I'm doing here, it makes it a lot easier. Get my head and eyes where they're supposed to go. 
There's a bar lock, yep. Definitely getting better at dipping the bike here. Well, it makes this really easy again. No saddlebags or anything. Kind of feel like I'm cheating there. Definitely just focusing on the throttle. It's it's just interesting. It's, you know, obviously, without saying it's an electric bike, not gas. So there's a fine line with the throttle there where it kind of keeps you slow and gives you a little leeway. But yeah, then if you get into it a little too much, you're, you get into the torque really quick and you can get yourself in trouble. You can find that out. Like there. You can just really get a little sketch there. Go into a full bar lock here, bring it around. There we can pick it up a little bit. There we go. Fun for sure. Okay guys, there you go. The live wire one on a police motorcycle and competition course. And yes, I am smiling ear to ear. It's just fun. And it would be, obviously, uh, you know, for some departments, this would work, you know, maybe a uh, uh, campus or small city, you know. The nice thing is, is uh, it's quiet, obviously, and it's so small that you could get in and out of, you know, especially I'm just referring like to a campus, you know, or something like that. Um, Non-bothersome, quiet, and uh, you can get around just a, a lot of different places. Now... I'm gonna back this in uh, to the Harley booth here. I will say uh, these aren't coming from Harley, you know, like our electric glides and now the road glide as of last year. They are coming with uh, a police package, which means lights and you know uh, siren and things like that. The uh, they do not have the live wire yet, so if you do get one, you've got to source it to get emergency lights and uh, you know you're gonna be limited which is why we couldn't use it in my environment we need a trunk with a computer and a printer so it's got its limitations uh, as far as that goes but again there is a, a place for it for sure but who knows in the future if they're gonna you know put a police package on it if you didn't see my video the road glide's gone somebody's testing it but last year at Namoa which was in Yakima Washington I actually test rode the road glide because it just uh, it, it, shortly after that it was released actually as a option for agencies and I tested it on that course and I give you my thoughts and opinions of road glide versus street glide if your agency is looking at that um, so check that video out I will link to it uh, below this video guys there you go that's it I guess it's uh, it's over somebody else wants to ride it I gotta get back on my uh, 23 electric glide which is sitting over there. But uh, that's my baby, so be happy to get back on it.